Performance has emerged as a mainstream trend across the auto industry and is no longer restricted to just sports cars. Joining us now is Tim Kaniskas. He is the head of passenger car brands for Dodge and SRT. He is joining us directly from the show floor. It's good to see you, Tim. Okay, so you're there. What are you seeing as far as big trends coming out of this year's show? Well, you know, there's really two big trends we're seeing in the show this year. First thing is obviously alternative propulsion systems, PHEVs, electric cars, things like that, and obviously autonomy. That's one end of the spectrum. The other end of the spectrum, you're seeing a lot of performance coming out of the show. The car behind me that you can see a little bit over my shoulder is a car that we just unveiled last night at a special event. It's the SRT Demon, a special version of the Challenger. And you see the wheel off the ground there? We announced last night that not only was this car certified by the NHRA as the fastest car in the world in the quarter mile, it was also certified by the Guinness Book of World's Record as the first production car ever to pull the front, front wheels off the ground. It literally does a wheelie because it leaves the line so hard. <laughs> Being a new mom, I don't know if that fits into the category of the car that I would like to own, <laughs> but you have found in your research that a lot of people are really looking for a rise in horsepower and, and to be able to do you know, wheelies and cars come, maybe not that extent, but they like to see cars with a little bit of oomph. Well, th this is definitely a very far uh, end of the spectrum, but you are seeing a big push in the industry right now for performance because a lot of the things that were technically uh, differentiators for brands, you got over 40 brands, and you got over 300 different cars you can choose from the marketplace. One of the differentiators is performance because it's a very quantifiable differentiator where it used to be you'd have luxury, safety, things like that. Those aren't as easy to quantify, but performance is. And tech too. I mean, that's always a neat thing coming out of car shows, seeing what's new and and uh, innovative. You said the autonomy, the self-driving cars. Quickly, what other in the tech side of things are you seeing at the show? That really is the basis of everything. Tech is what enables all of this. It enables the autonomy. It enables the plug-in hybrids that get you know over 80 miles per gallon equivalents. It enables the performance. And the other thing is it enable, enables all the infotainment that people love. Having the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and having the streaming video in their cars. The tech enables all of that as well. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty exciting time. It is exciting, and I think people are pretty excited about the car behind you. I've seen now two people come by and take pictures of just that car. Uh, very quickly, where can it, people it, go if they want to kind of dip in and take a look? They're here in Florida or Georgia and can't necessarily get up there. Where can they go to get an insider's perspective on what's going on up there? All the information, all the 13 videos that we put out, including last night's reveal, is available on ifyouknowyouknow.com. There you go. That three people now have taken a picture of the car. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you, Tim. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Casey. It was, it was a very popular car. Yeah. Okay, we like to thank I Dodge. I want to do wheelies. For, yeah, of course you would. Thanks to Dodge for sponsoring this segment.